Today we'll be traveling to Canada, Ontario in a small town called Aurora. We're in there we'll be interviewing people and getting their thoughts surrounding mixed race heritage. First, we will be meeting Noah. He is a normal grade 10 student where his heritage is a mix of Korean and German. So the first question for you, Noah, is that throughout your life, have you ever been discriminated against because of how you identify yourself? So for example, have you uh, tried to fit in, in a group of Korean students, but they didn't like you because of the fact that you're also half German? I have been discriminated, but not in terms of my Korean side, mainly due to if I'm in a group with white people, usually, Korean people are a lot more inclusive than white people, but there has been incidents. Okay, so for the second question, how does being mixed affect your sense of German and Korean culture? Do you feel like one takes priority over the other, or do you feel more passionate and connected to one culture, and why? Being mixed does affect my passion for either one. I would obviously say my Korean one. One, because my appearance, and two, because my family. I've had many international students at my home. One of them is like one of my best friends who even goes to a school near mine. And also just in food and decorations and clothing, but yeah. Is that uh, also, is that because of it, you associate more with the culture of your parents that you like? No. No? Nothing to do with that. Okay. So the third question is that at family gatherings, do you feel like being mixed here apart your family or cause tension in the room? For example, if you're at your dad's uh, grandpa's house, do you bring up the Korean side of you or just ignore it? No, it doesn't affect um anything really in my family. Korean people and, well, my grandparents and all my like Korean relatives get a really along. They're act they talk actually a lot and they're perfectly fine. Even during dinners, we'll bring more Korean people. Uh, do they have trouble communicating with each other? No, not at all. They're all attuned with English. Okay. So the fourth question is, how much privilege do you think you have in comparison to other races and why? I think in terms of privilege that my, that it's, it doesn't, it's not really that affecting. Mm -hmm. I don't exactly have full white privilege, but I do still have some parts like in, like in terms of for Asian parents, you usually do an instrument like piano or something like that. But for white people, you usually do something like sports. And then I have done. Okay. So, uh, the fourth, fifth question. Have people ever looked upon you as more worthless in themselves because of the fact that you're mixed? If yes, describe your experience and how does it make it feel? Um, no, I not really. I've never really been seen worthless than another. There's never really been a time. Honestly, I can't really think of anything that comes to my mind. So what happens if they think that you're worthless in themselves? Like what would be your reaction? Well, I'd probably treat, treat them how they, you know, treat me. That's usually how things would go. But yeah, some obviously if there's anything like that and it was someone who was more elderly, then I would just ignore them. Mainly because I have a great deal. Because Asian people have a great deal of respect for the elderly. Currently Noah is a student from Aura High School where in there, he had experienced many forms of discrimination. So the sixth question is that what kind of action have you been taking to prevent yourself from being discriminated against? Well, really, I just try to be friendly and get along with everyone, especially if they're in a classroom, mainly due to the fact that if I'm going to be with them for a certain amount of time, then I should probably make sure there's no tension. Okay, so what happens if a guy discriminated against you? What would be your reaction or response to I'd probably treat him with the same amount of respect as he treated me. I'm probably not just gonna just stand there and just let him say whatever he wants. In terms of reporting, obviously in a school or workplace I would, but if you're outside, I, you can't really do anything. Okay, so the seventh question is that were you always able to distinguish yourself as a mixed race? Um, not always. As a kid, I wouldn't really think about it at all. I would just think 
know, I'm just any other kid. And of course I am. I just wouldn't really realize that I am too racist. So when were you old enough to realize that you're the mixed race? I'm starting to realize probably when I was like, let's say, 11 and a half. But then I started really saying that I was mixed when I was so going to high school. So after that, did anything change about your life or any like actions after that? No, not, not exactly. Owen didn't realize that he has a mixed race heritage until he's 11 years old. But the life after that did not change at all. So the eighth question is that, do you think that your voice is silenced in our society? And what do you think that is the reason behind people silencing you and discriminating against you? I do think that there is some discrimination and, un and being unheard for mixed race, mainly due to the fact that these children who are born as a mixed race aren't exactly totally accepted into one race than another. I'm just really lucky considering the fact that my Korean side is very, very friendly to other people. But there are, I have friends who are have different incidences where families don't exactly get along. Yeah. Right. So the ninth question is that, do you think other mixed races can relate to your experience of being discriminated because of their race? I think many people who are mixed can relate to the situation because they can't exactly say that they're white, but then they can't exactly say that they're Asian in terms of my case, because you can't really be one. You have to be choose two others, but usually, one race dominates the other in terms of appearance. For like children who are black and white parents, who have black and white parents, they they start to marry look black. And for me, white and Asian, I marry look Asian. So in terms of culture, in terms of race, ethnicity, I think they would also understand. So do you think the, these people would experience like the same kind of things that you've experienced? I'm pretty sure, but there is the case that obviously in a different country they might not be treated the same. Because we're a very multicultural country, so we would really understand. So, yeah. Okay. So, the last question is: What do you think? What What do you think needs to happen for our society to change and for people to have a different outlook on mixed races? I think we'll just have to wait because it's really more of a natural thing that's going to happen. Canada is already starting to have more mixed races now and then. And obviously, it's actually a global thing because we're more multicultural than ever. Before, there was a lot of discrimination. There was a lot of different problems, blacks between whites and also Asian people between lots of other different countries. But yeah, I think we're getting there and soon it will be a lot better. All right, that's it for the interview. Thank you for the input. Thank you. So today we're actually going to be interviewing Nicholas Horyachev, one of my old time friends, and we're going to be exploring his opinion about mixed race people. Here we go. Yo, what's up, dude? Hey, Johnny, nice to see you, you again. So long. So you can just come right in, I'll get you a glass of water, okay. and we can get this in for you started. Okay. So how's it going? Yeah, it's going pretty good. Uh, what about you? Yeah, fine. Alright. Here's your water. Thank you. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Alright, let's get this interview started. So, the first question is, how do you see mixed race people in Canada? Well, personally, I see them as complete equals. I don't have any prejudice against them. And I don't think that they're any um, different than me just because they're mixed. We're all human beings after all, and I have a really good view and outlook on the others around me. So what the second question is, uh, do you think that their voice is silenced and that they have less privilege than other races? For sure, I definitely think that their voice is silenced just because they're mixed. I don't personally understand why people react this way, but I know that overall in society, a lot of people have certain values and beliefs, and for some reason, they don't think that they coincide with those values and beliefs, and because of that, they discriminate against them. Yeah. 
So the third question is, when thinking, when thinking about mixed race uh, heritage, what kind of thoughts or stereotypes will come up? So when I personally think about mixed races, I think that uh, they live a really hard life, but I also think that it's good because they can experience two sides of culture. For example, if you have someone who's Korean and German, then they can, when, when his mom is celebrating something Korean, he can celebrate that Korean culture and be integrated into the Korean culture. And if his dad is German, he's celebrating a German holiday, then he experiences German culture. And in that sense, they have a better understanding of the world and their life is a lot more cultured and uh, they can live happily. All right, so the fourth question is, do you think people would get discriminated against in the settings like school or workplace just because of the fact that they're mixed? Yes, I do think that people who are mixed will get discriminated in the school or the workplace. But I think it heavily depends on where you're located. For example, here in Aurora, I think that we're pretty good with uh, including everyone and not discriminating people because they're mixed. But if you go somewhere else, based on the community and the value and beliefs of, the, of that community, I think that you'll definitely get um, discriminated against in school or in the workplace. But I also think that discrimination happens more in the workplace for some reason, but because in school um, you learn a lot about discrimination and you're taught not to discriminate against people and that it's not fair, but in the workplace adults uh, live their own way and they don't really care. They think that like everything that they do is up to them and they shouldn't listen to anyone else. So if they want you or they if they want to discriminate against someone who's mixed or don't like you, then they'll do that. Okay. So the last question is how much privilege do you think you have in comparison to rate mixed race people and why? So in comparison to mixed race people, I think that I have a lot of privilege. Um, I don't really know about my own privilege because I don't think about it. You don't think about your own privilege because uh, you do those things every day without thinking about it. But definitely, I know that mixed people aren't that privileged, and that I definitely have a lot of priv a lot more privilege than them. All right. Okay. All right. That's it for the interview. Okay. Cheers. Go. Cheers. Great. Thank right. you for having me. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for coming over. Thank I'll you. see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Today we have learned a lot about mixed race heritage through interviews. We have also gathered many opinions from other people. We have learned the struggles and the challenges they have to go through every single day. To help them, we have to raise awareness around the world and you can definitely make a difference too.